Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Wednesday. How's everybody doing on this March 27th? Good to see you. All right, good, good, good. Good morning, everybody. All right, good. Let's get right into it. First of all, just really want to touch upon the CTRM. Oh, my God, that was ridiculous. Ridiculous. You know, we were teaching the advanced, uh, the phase three yesterday, and um, I was trying to educate everybody a little bit. Um, if you missed the class, you definitely want to review it. But uh, I was talking a lot about how, you know, the stock had a very, very big spread. And sometimes you can trade a stock like this, and, you know, you don't have to trade a lot of shares of it. And it's so funny, but when we were trading it, we were anticipating it was going to probably go to 10, you know, what happened uh, early this morning because it went from like 5 to like 10, and then it kind of backed off. You could see right here in the middle of the day, didn't really do too much. And then from nowhere, from nowhere, the last 30 minutes, and this is why we always kind of preach when we teach you in class, you hold going to the close. This thing did not stop. Now, I ended my class – you know, at a, at four o'clock when the market closes, and you know, I was talking to a, a new a new a new student, and uh, I ended up buying it back after hours. I'm like, wait a minute, this thing ain't backing off. So you know, even though we sold it right below ten, the thing actually ran all the way up to the price of. Um, you could see um, it could, ran all the way up to about eighteen eighteen dollars, and we were like joking around when we saw the thing at eight, and we're like, yeah, hey, you know, it could probably go up, you know, it probably it should probably, you know, it's got a big spread. And what did we learn about the CTRM? This stock traded almost um, identical with the stock hunt. Now. Listen, we traded you all all of you guys remember the uh the BPTH, okay? And you can see BPTH, this is the stock that we traded here in the long term chart. Stock went from two dollars up to hundred to seventy five dollars. And I tell everybody this, guys, don't worry about it. We're gonna get another one. They're there all the time. But let me tell you, that hunt trade, I don't know where that came from, but that was absolutely uh, no different than the BPTH. I mean, you could see that thing just ran from $20, gapped up to $70, uh, got halted, and then going into the close, $40 to over 100 bucks. I even told the students, the only reason why we didn't really trade Hunt and we trade the other one is this one's spread was just literally ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And what's my motto? I tell everybody, buy one share. Do you know if you bought one share of this stock, you would have probably made at 50, you would have made yourself 50 bucks on that stock? I mean, one share, could you possibly think of it? But the, the purpose of it, you got to have some skin in the game. So kind of talked a lot yesterday regarding that. You don't have to trade a lot of shares of something to make a lot of money on it, especially with stuff like that. So anyway, great day. Uh, a couple of other stocks that did make some nice moves. Want to talk about some of them. ALDX was one of them. Uh you could see that stock gap that really nice, 750 to about 1250. And if you didn't take your profit quickly in the morning, we got crushed. You could see where it ended up. I actually did a really good lesson on that, talking about you can't go broke taking a profit. The other one, um, why is it not coming up? Bed Bath and Beyond. You know, listen, that's obviously was the big news. Everybody talked about Bed Bath and Beyond. Everybody knows it's a brand name store. A lot of us get that 20 20 percent coupon every day. I wonder how much money that cost them to send out, but um, obviously it must be working. But stock obviously took a big hit. The stock obviously, I think it was like in the 80s at one point, but um, gapped up nicely. It was garbage. I'll be honest with you. It was nice and pre-marked. It was okay, but the other ones were just so much better. But the uh, but the CTRM was just literally like off the charts. That thing was just awesome. So, um, but there's a lot of them that are going on uh, right now. They're moving. Ken saying uh, uh, IGC. Is obviously popping right now. We're going to talk about the IGC. The you everybody remembers this stock very well. We traded this back in October. This is the stock that went from a dollar all the way to fourteen dollars. Became a great uh, short squeeze. You could see it right here. We traded not too long ago, just literally not too long ago. Uh, it was a, a, about a month ago we traded it. The stock was like a I don't know fifty cents, ran to almost four dollars. So we know the stock can move. But let's keep an eye on it. But IGC is, you know, going to be on the watch list. But great call, Ken, on that one. All right. So um, we're going to talk about a couple other things, too. Uh, ben is saying the U.S. Tra uh, trade deficit pulled back on January from the widest levels of decades. Imports of China plummeted, suggest American companies have been rushing shipments to prior months to beat expect tariff boosts. Well, listen, you know what? 
these tariffs are going to be a lot of fun. And, you know, and I always say this, and you know this, Ben, and all the traders have been here for a while. Catastrophes do make opportunities. If it's, you know, an election, if it's uh, a pharmaceutical drug that, that that loses FDA approval, if it's a tariff, it's, uh, oh, there's a, there's another one yesterday. What was the other big news that came out? I was just looking at it um, on, the, on the news feed right here. Let me just bring it up really quick. Which is going to be another uh, another thing we're going to keep a, a keep a big look at. Uh, where is that news I just saw just recently? Uh, where is it? There was a buyout of a company uh, regarding. Everybody heard about the judgment about the that they uh, the judge uh, uh, was a Centron will buy uh, Wellcare for fifteen billion dollars health insurer deal. So listen. Everybody heard about what's going to happen with Obamacare. They said it now it's unconstitutional from a judge. So you might see a big run up in a lot of, um, you know, a lot of mergers and a lot of with the healthcare industry. So, you know, and I know that you, ha you go into a big uh, 2020 election. You have some people talking about Medicaid for all, which probably be the abolish of all uh, insurance companies. Who knows? But then now you have it where. It might not even get there. They might have to rush into it. So there might be great opportunities for us to trade some of these healthcare stocks. So listen, it's just a new wave. Remember the shipping stocks when when the shipping stocks took off, you know. And I'm not going to talk about because uh, I know Kent Thal is going to harass me about dryers, but you know there was a lot of them out there, and actually some of them are moving pretty well too. So we'll check out a bunch of them. Uh, Deb sends Deb Fine says the AVEO is uh, worth watching. Yeah. I mean, look at that. There's there's a nice little cheap one. Nice call right there, Deb. You know, but let's go through the list because we got a couple of stocks here because we got class that's going on. Uh, phase three, lesson three that's coming up. So all you gold and platinum students, we got to get ready to go in there. But let me tell you, it was a, the morning was was, you know, showed you how to control losses. The afternoon shows you how to kind of, you know, uh, run with your winners. So we got this stock on the watch list, the RBZ. I know all of you guys have been trading it this morning. A lot of you have been killing it right now. Uh, uh, this stock, literally, you can see here, got destroyed, went from $80 all the way down to 8 She's up 94%. I know a lot of you guys already traded in pre-market. You know, uh, who, who actually did pretty well on this stock? I know a lot of you guys did it, um, made some money on this stock. Uh, who, who traded? I'm just looking at the list right here. Uh, didn't ben, uh, ben, you made about three dollars on it, right? Some of you guys did pretty well on this stock. Uh, yeah, you made about three fifty on it. Andrea did pretty well on it. Made a quick five hundred bucks on that one. Yeah, a lot of you guys did pretty well. Can't say that dirty word. <laughs> well, anyway, it's the points, not the dollars. It's the points. But anyway, that stock's been doing pretty well. You guys in pre-market, you can see early bird gets the money. That's our motto. Uh, I'm going to throw CTRM back on the watch list. Uh, CTRM is back on our watch list right there. So that one's going to do pretty well. The hunt, I want to keep an eye and see what the story with that is. Uh, that was just, I mean, that's just, that's even worse than, that thing was even, not worse, but better than the BPTH. I mean, come on, guys. This is, it, it, one day it ran to $100. I mean, it was just $10. It was like literally, what was it? Uh, what was it there? Ten dollars? Yeah, ran to like a hundred. Was that thousand percent? That was a hell of a fun stock. DCAR, that was actually a pretty good one yesterday. I forgot to mention that one. The uh, DCAR was a really fun stock. We did really. You could see how that stock went from four all the way to six fifty. I got to got to mention that one uh, for us day traders. But um, but you could see. Listen, you can't go broke taking a profit. You could see how that stock just took a big hit. You know, following this morning, whatever, and we know this, whatever makes the big percentage gainers always shows up in the losers. And that's where you see it, why, why you see it in the big percentage losers list. Here's another one that's going to make the watch list, uh, CXTC. You could see this one is moving really, really nicely too. Nice little push, 660, got a decent spread. Not a lot of iceberg orders on level three, though. That's the only thing that kind of turns me off about it. GLBS. That was another one that was pretty decent uh, after hours yesterday. Stock, you, we all remember this one. The stock ran from three all the way to 10. You can look long term. We know the stock's got great orders on level three. So we know how to follow the money on that one. Uh, it tested a major support level. It's gapping up. The stock might be a little bit easier for some of you level two, level three traders to trade. AXSM, I think I just mentioned that one. That one's going back on the watch list. Actually, no, I didn't mention that one. Uh, that stock has not only been a good day trade, it's been a good swing trade, but it's all over the place. 
uh, kind of, you know, you had a tank yesterday, but you know what? We're going to throw that one on the watch list because it's gapped up about 14% to this morning of 300,000 shares. Spread looks pretty decent. You got some decent orders out there on the level three. CNC is going to be on our watch list. Um, this stock is taking a very, very big hit. Listen, I say it all the time. People are like, oh, you know, I don't trade stocks in the $5. You hear me joke around this all the time, $10. Listen, less risk, more reward. You want to go trade an $80 stock? God bless you because this is what happens to you. All right, you, you own the stock. You, you didn't know how to day trade. You wrote it down from 60. You went to 54. You wake up this morning. Now you have 49. What do you do now? Okay, call 911. You know, that this is what happens. You know, you want to play with the big boys? You know, you got to be risking a lot of money like the big boys, and that's what you get. That's why when you look over there on the level three, you get only 100 share orders. So, listen, you know what? It's a level four, level five stock. You could probably trade 100 shares, but overall, I'd rather trade the other ones, less risk, more reward. So, anyway, you, so, you, you remember, early bird gets the money. That's why a lot of you guys log in. And I see people log in at 730 in the morning, two hours before the market opened up. If you were here early and you did what you were supposed to do, you know what? You did well. You probably you probably finished trading with BZ, uh, RBZ. That's what it's all about. Um, but listen, there's a lot of other ones that are moving. If you missed it, don't worry about it. We're going to get a new list when the market opens up. Sometimes some of these pre-markets uh, will die, and some of them will blossom with new ones on our watch list. All right, guys? Anything I'm missing? Ben said he made a short. He made about $0.50 cents on the – on uh, on a uh, – B R Z U. Good. All right. Halted ten times. Uh, you know, I saw that stock, and um, you know, you could see it. It's it's a pretty volatile stock, though. So just be very careful with that. Was it a Brazilian? Uh, yeah, it's an ETF. You know why we don't like to trade ETFs? It's just very hard. They they just move very very fast. You got to be in a three category to trade them. All right. Early bird gets been warm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. <laughs> and early birds over here get the money. Listen, it's what it's, what it's all about. Remember, you know, it's funny. Um, a lot of people come in here, and I, I want to just – just one tip of the day because I want to get ready for class. But um, this is a tip of the day, everybody. You know why people love day trading? Because it's a part-time job. And everybody thinks you got to be here all day. You don't have to. You know, you'll make half as much, but you know what? You can talk about 10 times less stress. So, listen, you don't have to be here all day. Enjoy it. Have fun. And, uh, listen, if you missed the morning, don't worry about it. You always got tomorrow. Every day is a brand new day here at Cybertrain University. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading. Once again, if you're a gold student, platinum student, I'll see you in the classes. If not, you want to find out more, uh, like I said, talk to your education advisor. And don't forget, everybody, uh, the super early bird discount. Not the early, super early bird money, which is the 7.30 people that show up in the morning. But um, if you want to get into the trading summit, September 10th and 12th, you know, uh, once again, register, log in. And, you know, like I said, I know some of you can't make it. It'll be webcasted. So worst case scenario, you can always do that. But it's always prefer you guys come here. It's always fun to get to meet your fellow traders. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. See you in class.